at some point, you know, if you're in the hacking scene, you kind of have to make a choice if you, uh, which side of the fence you want to be on. You kind of get this, this godlike sense of like, oh my God, I could do all this crazy stuff. And like, what other crazy stuff could I do? The computer, I could talk to that. That thing would dance for me. We set up an entire fake music festival as a front. I enjoyed the media attention because to media there's all these like this counterculture. We were not criminals, we were just kids. We were just interested in, in research and figuring things out. We had no criminal intent. Things have changed. How did you decide with all this access what you wanted to... Um, like whenever the Olympics was on, that was a big target. Can you tell me more about that? And he writes it in this napkin, he's like, this is a bug. But he tried to steal from the criminals who are already more criminal than himself. You know, when we had this precise access at this level, talking about it at all is a risk. You could get paid for zero days. You could get fame for zero days. And like, the, this, the real world impact of what we're doing is serious. You have to be a little bit obsessive. You just have a little bit of that um, unhealthy obsession. That's what got me into this. To be able to give that back and have somebody appreciate it, this is the greatest gift you can have.